All right, boys and girls, this week we are learning about Earth Day and how to take care of the Earth. But sometimes there really is garbage or trash that we need to throw out. But have you ever wondered where that trash goes or where that garbage goes? Let's learn about it. Follow that garbage, a journey to the landfill. Can you say the word landfill? Good. You might have heard a landfill referred to as a dump. That's where a lot of the trash goes that people throw away. Every week, the garbage truck takes your trash. Have you ever wondered where it goes? Let's follow the bags and find out. Hmm. So this book's going to answer a question that we might wonder about. Do you think it's going to be informative or nonfiction? Or do you think it's going to be fake fiction, like a story? Yeah, this looks like it's going to be an informative nonfiction book. Let's read and see. Bags from each house are thrown in the hopper. They are smashed and pushed to the big part of the truck. Inside, a moving wall smashes the garbage. That way it takes up less space. Wait a minute, those garbage bags have smiles. This book's probably a little bit to teach us like an informative book and a little bit of fiction to make it more fun. That's okay, boys and girls. Sometimes we're going to notice that books might not be all informative or all fake fiction. They might be a little bit of both. And that's okay as long as we're learning and enjoying reading. A garbage truck can hold about seven tons of trash. And it's not the only truck collecting garbage. In a large city like New York, there are more than 2,000 garbage trucks on the job every day. They collect trash from apartments, schools, city trash cans, and more. When the truck is full, it heads to the transfer station. Here, the trash waits for its, waits for its ride to the landfill. The truck backs up and dumps out the trash. Trash is everywhere, but it will only be here for a little while. Look, there's a milk jug, a pop can, and some paper. Wait a minute. What do you know about milk jugs and paper? What could we do with those instead, boys and girls? I hope you said recycled. Let's listen. The book says they can be recycled. In some cities, workers at the transfer station send these items to recycling centers. But in other places, recyclables wind up at the landfill. Look, the milk says, why are we here? Hello, we're not trash, we can be recycled. The trash continues on its journey. A front loader pushes it over a ledge. A trash compactor is below. It squishes the garbage even more. Next, an arm pushes the smashed trash into a semi-truck. It can carry 40, it can carry 48,000 pounds of trash. That's a lot of garbage. Road trip. Most landfills are far away from cities. That way the smell doesn't bother the people in town. Are we there yet? Here it is, the landfill. It's a giant hole lined with plastic. The plastic seals in the trash so it doesn't pollute the ground. What a dump. More trash comes in all day. In the evening, the trash is covered with dirt. That cuts down on the smell. The smell comes from landfill gases. Some of the gases are captured and used to make energy. Wow. More trash is added the next day and the next. Finally, there is a hill of trash. Grass grows over it. Below, the trash rots away. But it could take 500 years or more. Americans throw away about 250 million tons of garbage each year. It really adds up. Not all trash goes to a landfill. Some is taken to a building where it is heated to 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit, hotter than molten lava. Most of it turns into gas for energy. The leftovers are trapped in glassy sludge, which is broken up into rocks that can be used for roads. 
One man's trash is another man's treasure. Look at that. We used to be trash like you, but now we're helping build a road. That's pretty interesting. Did you know that some types of trash can be used to build a road? There's all sorts of facts in informative texts. All right, boys and girls, I want you to stop and tell your learning coach something that you learned from our story about trash. Keep up the great work, boys and girls.